I've mentioned the nerves, and again, these nerves are going to be running from the spinal cord in the vertebral column at your back, and they're going to be running all the way around. And these nerves run around in this direction to supply the musculature. Obviously, similar happens in both the male and the female. And this is just a cartoon of what this looks like. Here we've got the spinal cord, and we can see coming off the spinal cord, we have these two pairs of spinal nerves. We've just got one here and one here. This happens all the way up and down the spinal cord. So the spinal cord is divided into 31 segments. And here we're just looking at two of these segments giving rise to a pair of spinal nerves, one coming in this direction, one coming in this direction. As I mentioned throughout the um, lecture, the nerves that supply these muscles come from T7, T11, your thoracoabdominal nerves, and subcostal nerve, which is T12. This could be T12 here, and then the one directly inferior to it could be L1. And importantly, what we can see is that these nerves are branching around. They run in between internal oblique and transverse abdominus muscle layers. But we also have some cutaneous branches, and these go to supply the skin. And that's what creates this banding, creates the dermatomes, the sensory distribution um, from the skin. So when you touch, the sensation travels back towards the spinal cord. So here we can see some of those thoracoabdominal nerves. Importantly, I mentioned when we looked at the muscles, the various movements of the trunk, and here we can just see where we have the various movements that these muscles contribute. So we have lateral bending where you can see the, the trunk is moving um, to the left and to the right, moving laterally. You can see we have extension and you can see we have flexion carried out, let's say, by rectus abdominis. This is similar to the sit-up position. And then we have rotation where the body is rotating around, obviously. All of these muscles, all these movements are coordinated by some, if not all, of those anterolateral abdominal wall muscles, so important movements of the trunk. So in summary, in conclusion, we've looked in quite a lot of detail about the origin, the insertion, and the innovation of a whole series of muscles which we can see here, external, internal obliques, transversus abdominis and rectus abdominis, those important muscles, and how those muscles were arranged to form the rectus sheath. And then towards the end, we've looked at the epigastric vessels, superior, inferior, and the thoracoabdominal nerves that um, innovate them. And then finally, we looked at movement, the bending, flexing, extending, and rotating of the trunk. These muscles are really important when we come next to look at the inguinal canal, the inguinal canal is an important passageway located in the inguinal region, and these muscles form a complex channel that allows important structures to pass through. And we'll look at that next. You just completed your first video of the world's best medical exam preparation. Lecturio brings the knowledge of worldwide leading medical experts and teaching award winners to your PC, tablet, or smartphone. Prepare yourself and check your progress with thousands of quiz questions, customized to US MLE standards. And the very best, you can get in touch with our medical experts personally. Visit Lecturio.com now and continue with the most inspiring medical education around the globe, anytime, anywhere.